Hey guys, welcome to Let's Talk Football number three. I understand the last two have been called eleven, that was just a small mistake on me. But anyway, today I'm going to speak about Team G B um pre season and the top stories and pre season and things and a bit about YTFC at the end. Many of you've not known um YTFC is obviously the old town team I support. Let's get started with um Team G B. Obviously the team played on Thursday, day before the opening ceremony. I just, I know it's off topic a bit, but so far I think the Olympics have been amazing. I think the set opening ceremony was absolute genius. But anyway, onto the football. Um, they drew their first match one all at Old Trafford, and that was against Senegal. Um, they took the lead in the first half, which I actually missed, but that was um Craig Bellamy. I've seen the goal now. This is a nice finish, smashed against the floor, and then Senegal scored. Made about 10 minutes before the end to equalise. But, um, it looked, they didn't really look very good and they didn't really look like they gelled as a team, but I suppose they'd only had two matches together now, but one before that. But anyway, as I record this, it's about 12 minutes to kick off, so I'll be watching that game. I believe they're playing the United Arab Emirates. United Arab Emirates obviously played at the same time as Team GB did, or same day, and they lost 2-1 to Uruguay who lost today 2-0 to Senegal which I was actually quite surprised about but um the Team GB team is Jake Butland in goal um Mill Taylor Stephen Corker and Tompkins at the back with Richards playing right back finally playing right back um in the midfield is Bellamy Giggs I think it's Joe Allen and oh I can't remember the right mid um but Marvin Sordell was playing up the front, I, I know that. But, um, yeah, I think they will win tonight against United Arab Emirates. It'll be a tough test, though, as, um, against Uruguay, they went 1 0 off, and Uruguay are one of the best teams in the tournament. Um, if you guys didn't know, if you guys didn't watch the match, which a lot of you might not have, um, the commentator actually uh, mentioned that one of their star players died a year ago at the age of 20. So that's kind of a little motivation for them to, you know, push on. And they actually they didn't look too bad for us. You wouldn't really expect United Arab Emirates to have an amazing team, but um they're actually okay. Alright guys, well because I like was about to film the next part of the um video and then something popped up so I couldn't so I'm gonna have to carry it on now. But I know the squad now it's um Cladley and Ramsey playing as well as what I said before. But um yeah anyway back to the match. They're actually winning one 0 at the moment, it's just just into the second half. But, um anyway I'm gonna go on to my next topic now which is the uh, which is pre season. Yeah, so there's been a couple pre season matches. Um last night Tottenham played Liverpool and um yeah, Gareth Bale actually got injured but he pulled out of the G B squad for being injured. So it was kind of weird. But I don't know, he must have. But um, yeah, Charlie Adam, he's out for three months, Calf there, which Charlie Adam just clipped his heels. I think AVB overreacted a bit with that, saying it was a dirty foul or whatever, but it happens all the time in football, so it's not really something shocking. Anyway, into the actual match, it ended 0 0, and apparently it was an absolute shocking game, so um, yeah. They've also, Liverpool have also played um, Lorma. And Toronto FC, um, because they're on a tour of America, because they got those rich owners from America. But anyway, on Friday, Man City played Arsenal. And that finished 3-2 or 2-1, but to Man City. So that was a good win for them. Um, what else? What other results? Um, Shinji Kigawa scored his first goal for Manchester United against, um, I think it was Shanghai FC. But anyway guys, to end this video I'm just going to talk a bit about my team the Oval. Sorry I haven't covered pre-season much but um, I just gave you a rough outline of a couple of the English teams. So yesterday my team the Oval played Bristol Rovers and I actually went to watch the match. Um, it was a 1-1 draw. I've actually done a report on a website called um, YTFC Cyberspace. So that's just an unofficial the Oval website. Like, well, un yeah. 
it's not the official Yovel website, but it's like it's quite a big Yovel website. But um, what else? Oh yeah, it was one all. Um, it was good. Not a very good game or a very good performance, but um, it was good going and see the new signings and things and a couple of them all look alright. But I've tried to make this video, guys, about um, how long is it going to be? About five minutes, so I don't want to go too far over that. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, so I haven't uploaded in about nine days, but I'm kind of got to the trend of one a week now, which is probably better because I don't want to overload you with them. So I have to say that, guys. Someone just um. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. And like and comment and subscribe if you enjoyed, but that's only if you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.